Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to our tutorial on accessing full text articles on PubMed. The purpose of this tutorial is to allow you to access those full text articles that we have free through Regions Library and not get prompted to purchase one that we already have access to. If you have questions about this tutorial or because of your own research, contact a librarian. You can reach them at the number, email, or office hours listed below. The first step in accessing full text articles that Regions already has is making sure you access the PubMed database through the library website. There's a few ways you can do that from the site. From the home page, you can make sure that you search for PubMed under this databases tab. If you're on the databases section of the website, you can access PubMed through the quick links or again you can run a search. Let's try accessing PubMed through this quick link. Let's say that what we're interested in finding is cracked tooth syndrome treatment. You can tell that you've accessed PubMed through the library site because you have this filter option, Regions Hospital Medical Library. And let's say what you're really interested in is this article about multi-central clinical audit. You click on the article and you get to the abstract. Over here you can see a couple options for full text links. If you click on Elsevier or another option that pops up there, it may prompt you to purchase the PDF. But if you click on the full text available button, it will tell you what articles we have already available. So here we see the different options you have for full text through regions, Clinical Key and PubMed Central. Doesn't matter which one you click, and here we are at the full text article for free. You can either view it in HTML or you can download the PDF. So the key points to accessing these articles for free is make sure you access PubMed through the library website and then look for that button that says full text at regions library from the abstract view. If you have any questions about this tutorial or about your own research, reach out and contact a librarian at the reference desk number listed here at, by email or drop by during the hours listed. Thank you.